Hello, in this demonstration we're going to be using my bucket list data set in order to create a map that shows uh, sharing photos out on a map. So let's go to the bucket list. Uh, here is my bucket list data set. If we look at the data set real quick we can see that it has custom symbology. This symbology determines whether or not there are photos attached to the record. If we look at some of the records uh, we can look and we will see that some of them have photos uh, but the red ones do not have photos. So we're going to turn this into a map with a simple pop-up that will allow people to view the photos in my bucket list. So to do that we come here to Maps Beta and we select New Maps. Here we're going to name it my new bucket list. We're done. You can choose which base layers you want to show. I want the default to be Amigo Satellite but I also want it Amigo Gray and Amigo Street to be visible in the map as well. Click Save. Here I'm going to add the bucket list. I'm going to also add all of Colorado's 14,000 foot mountains. Click OK and the map will add the two layers into the map. So here I select the bucket list and I open up the layer settings. Now that I have it opened I'm going to change the way the map is symbolized, I'm going to symbolize off of the visited value. There's two values for visited, no and yes. If I have not visited, we're going to give it a uh, orange color. And if I have visited, we're going to give it a green color. We'll save that. Now that it's saved, it's going to regenerate the symbology. You don't see much of a difference because I have not visited most of these places, but one day I hope to. If we zoom in a bit, we can see that there are a few places that I have visited and a few that I have not. So I like this area, and so I'm going to make this my default extent for my map. Now that that's done, I'm going to, have to add in the pop-ups that will show me the photos. So I come to the click pop-ups here, and I turn it on, and then I say I want the name, the description, whether or not I have visited, and the photos to show up. Save that. And now I have pop-ups. So here's a photo. This is the thumbnail view of the photo where you can see multiple photos and their thumbnails. If I want to see a gallery view, I can come over here and I can select gallery, and then I can save that. The gallery view gives us a slightly bigger photo choose one that has a photo. Here we go. This is Ray Lakes, one of one photo. Um, this is McWay Falls, it's a beautiful waterfall off of the coast of California. Here is uh, Pfeiffer Beach that has Keyhole Arch and a few pictures of Keyhole Arch. So now that that's done we can come to the legend settings and we can turn on a legend and name it Visited uh, Places. We're going to name it Places we're going to turn off others because I've either visited or not visited and add a prefix to tell people what that means. And save that. So now I have a legend tells people what the symbology means. I have the ability to show people the photos and I have a custom extent set and I have the different base layers that I want to show. If I go here or now that the map is all saved I can go back to my bucket list and it's going to generate a preview. I can come here and I can share the map and I can view that map and this map can be shared out publicly with anybody on the internet. Here's the Torona Printicles. Uh, here's a tree tunnel along the one. Here's the Salt Flats rest area from Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. Here's Baker Hot Springs in Utah. So there's a lot of fun places in the world to go see, and this is a quick map of them. Over here you can see that my 14ers are also in included in the map, and I can change the base layer if I want to. Here's Amigo Street base layer. This is Amigo Gray base layer. I can also turn on and off the layers that I've decided to, to add to the map. I hope this demo has been beneficial, and if you have any questions, just contact us at support at amigocloud.com. Thank you.